Welcome back to CMG First Lesson for Beginners. This series is purely for beginners. If you are a forex trader and you are a beginner, you are a newbie, you are a tyro, you are an amateur, this is the best video for you. So if you are an advanced or intermediate, please check on our page for the intermediate and advanced level, right? Now, I think we are getting to the most interesting part of this playlist actually. So stage one is what we are going to look at, right? We have already looked at what is actually under it, what is forex, what is what is trading on forex and then trading times and whatever. So I yeah, I'm not going to waste much time here. Let's zoom in by looking at what, what is what forex, right? So you may have heard this term a number of times, right? But what is it? Maybe you are not have the access or the, the time, the opportunity to actually have, uh, have a look at what is it. Before you can actually trade, you have to know what is what is it, right? So that's what we are going to look at basically here. So let's zoom in. Now, what is forex? Now, forex market is an exciting place, an exciting place. The one good thing about entering into the forex market is that you can trade any time, any time as per your convenience, right? It's the market, the forex market is actually um, a digital marketplace where we do what we trade currency. We trade currencies against one currency against the another. That is basically what forex is. We trade one currency against the another. If you have a pounds. Uh, you are trying to give you maybe 20 pounds or uh, 40 pounds, and then maybe you are living in a country like Ghana, and you want it in, in Ghana cities to go to your forex bureau, and then you want to do that exchange at some rate. That's what we call the exchange rate. So, in fact, one way or the other, everyone has actually was engaged in what is called forex. If you change one, if you exchange money for one money or one currency for another, you are involved in what, what is called forex. So that is it. Now we are doing it on online in the digital sense. So that is it. So now you have an idea of what is forex. So we are going to look at some other things about forex, right? Now, hold on. Sorry, I had some 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 something I had to attend to. Sorry about that. So now we. Let's we are here now. The global foreign exchange, right? Forex, another name for the forex FX or foreign exchange. In fact, the fullness of forex of FX is what foreign exchange, right? You are transacting your money, your local currency with another currency from another country or from another whatever, another nation. So that is why it's called foreign. Foreign exchange is as simple as that. One amateur, an amateur. This is the simplest way I can actually give it to you. So, the global foreign exchange market, FX, Forex, or Forex, uh -huh, is the largest market in the world. This is the I'm going to bust the bub bubble in this episode, right? It's mind blowing. It's the largest market in the world as measured by the daily overturn. Over 10 with more than 6.6 .6 trillion a day. What it means is that in this market, each day, each day, the money that is actually traded, exchange, transacted, is 6.6 .6 trillion. I'm not talking about million, I'm not talking about what billions, it's actually what trillions per day. You see the interesting aspect of this, this, this market. You just imagine this is why some a lot of us say that this profession is very lucrative. You can actually make a fortune in this system. If only you work, you be disciplined, know your system, your niche, your strategy, you can actually make it. So per day, in fact, which 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 uh, business world actually do this? Transact 6.6 billion a day. Never, no way. So per day, that's what actually happens. Now the first market. Imagine a propelling overturn is one of the many reasons why so many private investors 
and individual traders have entered the market. That is, now investors, the investors have discovered several advantages, many of which are not available in other markets, right? So in other markets, there are opportunities that you can actually find in, um, uh, uh, what, what do you mean? You can actually find in other, 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 other markets that you won't find it in what? In, in Forex, that you won't find in other markets. So that is what it means. Now, um, Forex, right? Forex in simple terms, in simple terms, that's currency. It's also called the foreign exchange. We have looked at that already. FX or currency trading, whatever. Now, it is a decentralized global market where all world's currencies trade with each other. It is the largest liquid market in the world. Decentralized in the sense that nobody has control, nobody has a monopoly over this system, right? No company, in fact, no nation has control over this market. If you are willing to transact, go into that, then you do that. If not, you just find your, your, your somewhere in the sit. So that is it. Now, the liquidity, what it means is that the, the volume, the, the, the amount of money that is what traded, right, between buyers and sellers. Now, in this in this forex market or profession, the only there are only two things that we do. It's either you buy or you sell a currency. That is it. That's the only thing you do. You don't do anything like, apart from that. You buy or you sell. It's just a matter of when and then uh, when that you buy and then how much you buy. That is the other thing that you have to get out to look at. So you only buy or you sell. Now, the liquidity and, comp and the competitive pricing and the competitive pricing available in this market are great, right? The, the buying, the, the buying what price and the selling price, they are very what they are very good, right? But very, very normal, very, very catchy, very profitable. That's what it means. Now, with the irregularity in the, in the performance in other markets, the go to forex trading, investing and, man, uh, and management is in up, upward trajectory, right? Very propelling, increasing in a boom, doing well. Forex do well. That's where there are a huge amount of money traded. That is what we are talking about. So if you are willing and you are ready and you are emotionally, uh, financially uh, sound, you can actually end them with the proper advice, right? From any uh, person that you think you can trust, then you are good to go. I, we can provide it with CMD, but that is not our main focus. You only provide this one, this service, when you are actually a uh, student, right? Then we can actually talk about it, how you can trade, uh, how you can invest, right? Sometimes even training forex, you don't even have to be a trader yourself. There are ways that you can actually invest in forex. They are lucrative ways, many of them. So that is what you can provide as a, a student of what CMB. That is it. Apart from that, you are good to go. You can get the help from anyone, and then you can pass, and then you join it. So that is it. So now that you know what is forex, let us know why. Why should we even actually engage or embark on this journey? Would it be worth it, the benefit? Are they, are, they, are they good enough? So that's what we are going to do. So we are going to look at what what is what actually trading trading. Why we should, we should actually engage in forex? Simply, now there are many reasons to trade in to trade in forex. If you ask four different people, you might get more than four different answers. The above are advantages and reasons why we trade forex. But but primarily, making money is the most frequent cited reason uh, for why trade. Why we should trade forex? That's also we are just going to look at the benefits, right? Why should we trade for it? Is it, is it, is it worth it? So that is, so look at the one, but I think we have a look at them in, 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 in detail now, uh, as we progress, or we can even have a just overview. That right? you can take a snapshot of this and then just for yourself, right? So one is largest financial market in the world. That is it, where a lot of money are worth. 
are traded to anyone can participate. You don't have any requirements, provided you have your skills and your capital. You don't have to go through any interview. <laughs> I know this is one of the things that puts me off when it comes to the traditional business in that traditional job. The interviews and then a lot of process that you have to pass through just to get employed and then the, 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 the scanty money salary that you can get. But this, you can participate at your own will. If you are ready, you can do that. Now, three, high volume and liquidity, right? It means a huge sum of money are traded. You can actually make a fortune from this. Four, nobody owns the market. It's OTC. It's centralized. Nobody controls it. Where people can actually manipulate uh, uh, your, your money that you get or can steal from you or dupe you or whatever. No. So that is not point five. You can trade the highs and lows. You look at this in detail, right? The highs and lows, you look at it, you look at that. It's very uh, a bit technical. I don't want to touch it. So that is nine point six. It's open 24, 24 7, right? This will actually be 24 7. Uh, what it means is that um, the market is open from Monday to Friday, right? Like your regular web that you do, Monday to Friday. And as I say, be in trade all day and see you making money. So that's what is, for the forex, that is what is, that is the time that is traded. So uh, Monday to Friday is open. Now, seven, no commissions on most accounts. Of course, there are some commissions, but when we are talking about the majority of some brokers, their, their commissions are very negligent, right? Insignificant. No swap. You understand? These things are a bit um, technical. So we look at them later, right? Now, no transaction cost is one of them, and then leverage. It's a very important factor that we will look at. It's very good. Let's do it. Now, and then 10, we have uh, the paper trading with free demo account where you can actually have some any amount in this world. You can actually put any amount of money in that account and use it for practice. It's not real money, but you can actually use it to learn. So that is what it means. So um, I think the data pictures Forex market never sleeps, right? It's open 24 7. Access, you don't need any anyone, any any proxy, any help. You can have access on your own. Only for the fact that you have to learn it from someone, that's it. From mentors, like we are doing here. Now we have the leverage. The leverage is there. Small money, but it can actually trade huge sums of money. So that is what basically a leverage is. In the literal sense, we know what is a leverage, right? So look at it technically from Forex point of view. Then we have the low transaction cost. We have that already. And then um, that's unlimited and on much earning potential. We can earn as much as we can. <laughs> any, any amount of money, no government or no, uh, SEC will come and worry you <laughs> that why do you have this amount of money? No, if only they come and then you show them in the account, you are, you are good to go, right? Uh -huh. It's not like you are working a traditional uh, job that you go and then they pay you, um, let's say, I'm in Ghana, so I'm going to use the uh, denominational currency, like 3,000, and then all of a sudden you enter into a job, within three years, you have mansions, you have cars, right? Sport cars. The, the, the people will try to what question that is not so with this any amount of money that you want it's only you can you can gain that good now we also have profit in both directions what it means is that i said we have market we have two orders that i can place commonly right you look at market order don't worry so you can only sell or buy you have two directions so at one point you can you can what you can sell and another point, you can actually what? Buy. So you can actually gain in what? Both directions. So that is what we are talking about. Now, let's look at uh, who trades 
who trade what? The forex. Who trade forex? Which people? Which institutions are allowed or actually engage in this profession? Right? So the forex market is the name most inside, and it is the largest market with, with millions of participants. Hundreds of participants, hundreds of thousands of individuals like us, money exchanges, to banks, to hedge fund managers, everybody participates in the forex market, right? So basically, forex was actually, or is, in fact, is actually what uh, traded within big banks, big institutions, as you say, big institutions, and then big institutions are the financial what institutions, the banks. The hedge funds, right? You see, all these issues, they are the people that are actually engaged in this. We have what the, the government also, the government also do that, the commercial bank, the central bank, investment funds and traders and all that. And then we, the traders, we call ourselves what the retailers. So whatever is going on between the banks is what we are actually what uh just making, having a leg from that, just a tip of just having a leg, right? It is forex is not meant for individuals, right? No, I'm telling you one thing today that forex was actually not meant for individual traders like us, you and I, the traders that we call ourselves. And then there's a name for us, it's called retailers. It's not meant for us, but it's meant for the big, big institutions. So, this is big institutions, whatever they are doing, they move the bank, they move the, the market, either the market to buy or to sell. So, whatever decision these markets. Uh, the marketers, these marketers made, we only have to what, follow in their, 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 their lead, right? In their step, right? So this is what we do. We don't do, we don't go against them, right? So whatever they are doing, we just follow how they are moving. So this is where we, we introduce what, uh, what is called uh, technical what, analysis. So technical analysis is looking at the chart, how the buyers move, and then how the sellers what, move. Then you can decide to follow one of the what, the market players, either you're going to buy, being a buyer, or you're going to sell, being a seller. So that is it. So a, a graphical representation is this. The government, the, the commercial bank, the central bank, we have commercial bank, we have central bank. That is just that, that is it. And then we have the corporations, yeah, big, big companies. That is the investment funds, the insurance companies. Yes, and we have the traders, like you and I. So that is it. So that will be bring us to the end of our 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 episode right thank you very much for watching i'm going to keep the videos very brief so that the information can be assimilated right so that my my purpose i don't want to rush you when you get to the time that you have to rush you i'll do the rush so that is it so thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe to our channel my name is kudo you can call me emmanuel that is it so like and share and subscribe to see in the next episode. Bye.